Hello all my do-it-yourself remodelers out there and friends. Hey, today we have a great video today for you. We're going to show you how to self-level a floor. We're going to show you how the pros do it for you. Okay, because it's very important when you're laying down tiling or, or installing laminate flooring. And we're going to show you how to make your self-leveling end up like this here so that when your floor is installed, it will look nice and perfect and flat like this. So let's get started. You want this all right, uh, well this all right Too good to be true You want this all right, uh, well this all right Too good to be true Okay, so let's show you a brief walkthrough. This is our cement slab here. It's a 15 by 25 foot room here. And the builder did a horrific job, just terrible, terrible job of making us a smooth surface this was unusable for any type of flooring it's unusable i mean look at this it just bumps everywhere huge bump ups stuff that you can't even chisel and look at the terrible job they they did here by the sliding glass doors you can see what they actually had to do was they had to um, come in and patch it up even and so it, it, everything here was unusable and just you know cracks everywhere there's a chunk of rebar right there sticking up that's causing the floor to dome right there you would never be able to use uh, or install any type of flooring you would have creaking all over the place so just unevenness just chunks of paint we can chisel those up very easily uh, so uh, with a a room this size it really does take a few people to pull this off because of the timing the the material they use is a fast setting uh, self leveler so they have to prep the floor first and here you can see what the worker is doing here is he's using a diamond grinder uh, on his angle grinder and he's just going around the floor and they have to uh, chisel down and grind down all of the, the high points and try to make a, the, the surface look just kind of uh, smooth but yet somewhat rough and textured. And that's what he's doing. He's got the vacuum attached to it right now and just going around and the entire room. He, Probably takes him about an hour or so to do the entire room. It goes reasonably quick. And you can see there's zero dust because he's got his vacuum hooked up to it. And that's very important because otherwise you would you would just completely flood your entire house with a dusty fog if you did not use any type of vacuum on there. And there's what it looks like afterwards. It you know, just leaves like little tracks around. And so now what they're doing is they're rolling on a bonding agent because you cannot just pour new cement on top of old cement. You have to use a bonding agent. And now you can see here it is completely done there. They've put the bonding agent on and we're just waiting for it to dry. And it takes about 40 or 50 bags of the self-leveler cement here to do this entire floor. So you can see what they do is they had, they pour it and they mix an entire bag at once here. You see how it just levels? So mm -hmm. it, this is a very, very fast setting. They've only got about two minutes to mix it and something like three to five minutes to get it down on, on the floor. And so you'll see that they work in a very well choreographed team. The first guy comes in, dumps the barrel on the floor, and now the other worker is applying it here with his, uh, they call it a rake basically call it a rake or a squeegee and they kind of just drag the self-leveling compound around and, it, and it's kind of like a syrup and it, and it just fills in all of the cracks on the floor but the top surface is what becomes perfectly level so it just looks like a lake of water and you'll see the worker is walking around in these big boots here now um, these aren't exactly the correct boots to use yes they're somewhat pleated but uh, theoretically, you want to use boots that have like um, metal spikes, like a nail almost, so that it leaves a very low profile, uh, like, like you could see his foot right there, it leaves a very low profile in the material as you're moving around. So here he's just raking the material around, and even if he doesn't use the right shoes, hey, it's okay, because the stuff will self-level anyway. So here, you can remember, look what the sliding glass doors look like, and look what they looked like before, right? So it's it's perfectly filling in. Why didn't the builder do this? <laughs> Are you kidding me? They're not going to spend that kind of money and give you a perfect floor like that. They don't care. 
Their job is to just put up a slab and do that so sad if it doesn't work out. So here, um, the other worker brings in another barrel, dumps it down for him, and he just keeps on, keeps on raking it. He's just working his way across the room and down the room. And that's what you do. So this all has to be a very well choreographed action here. It's a group effort, it's a team effort, and it just keeps the process moving. You can't do this really by yourself. You would, there's no way you could do this by yourself. Because you got to keep the stuff moving. And so he's taking it right up to the bottom of the stairs so that when we come in and put our bamboo wood flooring in or install laminate flooring, it will be nice and flat. Now remember, the Tile Council of North America specifies that if you're going to tile a floor, you lay down a six-foot spirit level and you cannot have more than an eighth of an inch difference across that six-foot span. So it's so crucial to have the top of that floor exactly perfectly flat. And so pouring down self-leveling compound like this gives you that perfect top of it. The top surface is perfectly level. So you can see it looks like a lake of water there when he's done. So here they are all done, and it just looks like a lake in your living room. Now they tell you to wait a couple of hours, four hours, but we just waited overnight because I think the cement could still be a little bit soft. So it's best to just wait overnight. This would be a perfect time, if you haven't already, to hit the subscribe button down below. And once you hit that subscribe button, you'll see that little gray bell. Click on that, and that will alert you to every time we put a new video so that you'll never miss a video. And also, if you like our video here, you can click on the thumbs up button down below. That lets us know that you like us. And any questions you have, please enter them in the comments down below, too. And so here we come in the next day, and we lay down our six-foot level. And man, it was perfect. It just smacked down. When you have a perfectly level floor and you set down your spirit level, it will just smack down perfectly. So there's like zero variation across six foot, which is textbook perfect, according to the Tile Council of America. So now you're ready. You're ready to start installing your bamboo flooring here. And uh, we'll show you a couple of pictures here. There it is after we installed it. Just perfect. This is strand natural bamboo which is crushed up and shredded and, and compressed under high heat and gives you a much higher Janka rating than even the strongest American red oak would. So here we'll just take a few seconds here and we'll show you uh, some of the video of our floor here after we installed it. And everybody that walked in here fell in love with it. And the first person that came and looked at this floor here bought the unit when we were done with it. Self-leveling of floors is pretty much required in all commercial properties where they have a 0% tolerance for any type of lippage when they install tile floors or whenever they are installing linoleum floors or hardwood floors, they can't have any type of lippage at all. That's it for our video for this week and thank you for stopping by and we hope you have a great day. We'll see you on the next one.